Hey everyone, this is for those that are having trouble with their Linksys Wireless G PCI adapter, the model number WMP54G. For some reason in Windows 7, it, the, even if you have the original driver disk, it just won't run. So um, this is what I did to circumvent it, and what I'm using is the, a Windows Vista uh, drivers and they seem to be compatible so what I want you to do is copy and paste the uh, the um, links that I'm, I'm providing or the URLs that I'm providing and uh, paste them in whatever whatever uh, uh, browser you want to use and then once this pops up you can click download and then I want you to click Save File. And then once it's done, I want you to go to that file. And what I'm doing here is right-clicking on here so I can open the containing folder. And I've obviously downloaded this a few times. But then I want you to copy this and then put it, create a folder. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, you right-click on the desktop. Go to New, then go to Folder, and then click, then you just rename it whatever you want. You can see here, um, I have named it Vista. So I right click and then I pasted it inside here. Now you're going to do that same thing with the other link that I provide in the description below. Take the other one. These are my personal files that I uploaded to my own drive. So they're safe. They're not, they don't contain a virus. You go back to the uh, same windows that you just used or the same, um, uh, in my case, I'm using Firefox, but you hit paste and go. Click download again. And this time, this one will pop up. Click OK for make sure it's on save file. Click OK. And then same thing. Click if you're in Firefox here and if you're in a different browser, you're gonna have to find out where you're saving your file. Right click, click open folder, right click, copy, and then go paste it into your folder. And like I said in my case, I pasted it right here. When you're done doing that, the only thing you have left to do is to show your wireless card where to find the driver. So you click the start. Um, this is assuming you're on Windows 7. This is a Windows 7 machine. But you go up to computer and you right click. Click property. Click device manager. And then somewhere around here, you should have, uh, if you're having trouble with the drivers, you should have a, um, ex exclamation mark. So it'll be a yellow exclamation. Just right click on wherever the exclamation mark is. Um, in my ca case, I'd pre I'll pretend that it's the link says I'll right click and then I'll click update driver. And then you point it to the direction of the driver. So in my case, I'm going to go browse. And then I would direct it to, to the Vista. And then I would click OK. Now mine's not going to do anything because I've already updated. Mine's working perfectly, perfectly fine. So it's saying the best driver is in here. But, um, that should work for you. If, it, if it's not working for you on Windows 7 64, this is a 32-bit window. So if it's not working on 64, let me know. And I'll see if I can find a driver that will work that's compatible with yours. So hopefully, hopefully this helps someone.